Merry Christmas. Well, just kidding. But I bet you looked twice when you saw this video coming up. But it's Christmas in July. I was inspired by these Christmassy elements from Paper Garden and I thought to make a really early start with the Christmas makes. So, hi, it's Reika Kovasen here with a two Christmas looking cards for Paper Garden. The first thing I'm doing is mounting this Paper Garden printable on top of cardstock. I'm using this pattern piece of cardstock I just happen to have at hand this time and not using just plain white, which you normally use. And there's the double-sided adhesive sheet between the two layers, so they are secured, surely. I then trim the piece into two card size bits and distress the edge and then start making the elements ready for the composition. So I cut loose a couple of vintage, vin winter themed angel pictures and also these Christmassy winter florals. Then I'm making some mixed media background layers. First I'm adding some stamping and then I use the same stamp ink to color some modeling paste to pinkish tone. So these are kind of gingerbread candy inspired with this pinkish color scheme. I'm first thinking of using this uh, script stencil but I'm fearing that it will be too heavy, so instead I'm using that kind of as a stamp, inking it with the same ink I used to actual stamp, and then add some water on top and place the stencil to the card, thus giving it this kind of a stamped fade look. I then use this more like a doily patterned stencil to apply the modeling paste. After letting the cards air dry for a while, and I used that time to make these little rolls of vintage paper, I then make the compositions using elements from paper garden like this um, doilies and some tags, and then use foam tape to mount the angel pictures in place. As the background looks a little bit bare, I made these rolls of vintage paper, which I then add underneath. And then I use a whole lot of double-sided foam tape to mount the embellishments on top or the focal area on top because, well, these are quite dimensional, these little rolls. After that, I'm also adding the florals in, making the composition like this little wreath underneath the focal image there. Here you can see the composition is almost done. I'm adding a couple of label stickers and then the actual text using a text sticker there. As a finishing touch, I then mount the cards on top of pink card bases and add this little bow or a tassel, kind of a mixture of those two, done with twine to each one to make it a little bit more soft and delicate. So there you have two Christmas cards in July. I hope you liked the video. I hope you weren't too scared to see Christmas stuff in this time of the year. But I know that some Finnish crafters, for example, start in midsummer 
trying to do their first Christmas card or even even earlier. So in that case, I'm way behind already. Well, thank you for stopping by today and I'll be seeing you within a week. Thank you. Bye.